Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts Covenant. In the last episode, we continued our little side ventures here in Gorem Valley. We did all the little uh, arena challenges or whatever the hell you want to call them. And today, we're finally going to have our adventure take us to Fujivis Mountainous or Immortal Mountain. I guess this is Mount Fuji called Immortal Mountain. You guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this though? I don't even know if I'm ready for this. But I'm ready for this. So let's get ready for this and do this. Immortal Mountainous, here we come. We're here, dude. We're here. We're just here. Doesn't matter where here is. We're fucking here. You know what? Give it a quick hot save. Now, if this is truly Mount Fuji. I mean, we've already seen it in a cutscene. Kato and motherfucking uh, Nikolai are both definitely here. Well, Nikolai being Astaroth, that is. Um, you know, you'd think that'd be the end of the game, right? Going after Kato, Nikolai, defeating them, boom, we're done. Because, like, not really else, anything else established. But I get the very strong, strong feeling that there's more to this game once we're done with this. It just, it just doesn't feel like we're at the end yet, doesn't it? It feels like there's still so much left undone. Because, like, I've gone around and did, like, almost every side thing I could find. And there's just nothing left to find. At least, not obvious. Like, not, not new. I'm sure I've missed some little stuff here and there. Such as, I don't know, a bunch of magic spells that I know I gotta be missing. But, like, it seems like there's gonna be a whole, whole lot more. Like, those arena battles, while some of them were annoying and difficult, like, those don't feel like the final arena battles of the game. Doesn't it feel like there's gonna be even harder ones? Or, like, the fact that uh, I'm still missing two soul drops for Yuri. Or the fact that, like, there's still one more wolf to go kill. Or whoop ass. For, for, my, for my boy Blanca. I mean, it just seems like so many little things that I still need to find that I haven't found yet. And I feel like some of them just aren't available yet. And like, do we really think that we found all of Geppetto's outfits? No. I, th I think there's just gonna be more. I just, it, it just feels like there's more to the game, you know? And I, I ha I've, I've been trying so hard not to look it up to see how much more there left of the game there is. And I'm That's glad you guys haven't told me either. It's been such a great mystery to me, and I'm glad that I haven't looked it up, because I've been so fucking tempted. I'm like, man, how much more is there? How much more is there? How many more places? How much more things? And I've just been like, it's like, it's just, oh God. It's like holding it back, and I'm ready to explode, you know what I mean? But I, I gotta hold it in, man. Once we're done here on Mount Fuji, I'll truly just be at peace with knowing that there's more. Let's see what the hell this is. What the hell is this thing? What's this glowing thing? It looks like some kind of altar. No shit. Thanks for the fucking heads up, Jepito. It looks like some kind of altar. <sighs> Man. I didn't know I brought Einstein with me. Yeah. Einstein. I know. Red crystal. Oh shit. I brought a J. I found a J.O. crystal, dude. I bet you if we have a sesh, we can charge that shit like a fucking champion. Let's see if that has anything to do with this. Other than I'll look at it in the inventory. Looks like there's a round depression here. Do you think we should try putting this crystal in it? How come you didn't say it the first time? Put the crystal in here? Do it. Why didn't you say that the first time? Like, there's an indentation here. Holy shit. Did I just activate a teleporter? Yikes, what the hell happened? We got transported. I guess that must have been a warping device. A warping device, huh? I never imagined there'd be a device like that inside the Immortal Mountain. Anyway, whatever. Let's keep going. Like, we haven't teleported before. K child's play. Kid's stuff, as they say. Well, shit, if that's a teleporter, what's over here? Hold up. Hold up, enough. Don't ignore the right side. Even if the left side was the way to go. Yo, another crest of magic. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sick. Come on, get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Wait, I put Jepito in the party, huh? Nice, so we are going to have less encounters. All right, cool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I was thinking, like, how come encounters have only, I've only had one? It's because I have Jepito in the party, and he has the less encounters thing on, which is going to be great for the LP. Oh, my God. That's exciting. And the enemies here didn't seem that hard, so I'm okay with kind of, like, breezing through this dungeon like a boss, not fighting that many enemies. So the good thing is we'll fight some enemies, but not too many. And I won't be annoyed. And it'll be great. Um, there are th a lot of new enemies here. That's four new enemies. Maybe I should switch the little girl in and snapshot all the enemies. I guess I can do that. 
It's not like Lucy is doing anything important right now anyways. So after this one, I, I'll, I'll throw the little girl back in. And then we'll uh, go from there, I suppose. The cool thing about last episode is we finally learned freaking new abilities for, for little girl, Anastasia. And she learned fucking three new ones. Somebody told me there was only seven moves for her. And I found three new ones just from doing the fucking uh, arena battles or whatever they're called. I don't even know what to call them. Arena battles... I guess. It's like, they're like arena battles. I don't know what else to call them, really. There was a name for them, I think. Pit battles? I don't remember. The lady who gives the battles to you had a name for them. I just don't remember what the fuck it was. Anyway. Get fucked! Scorpion! <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> I keep forgetting Karen's is slow now. I gotta remember, man. I gotta remember. That would have been death for that scorpion, too. God damn it. He's gonna burn me! It hurts the bitty when you burn it. Yeah, I don't like Lucy's attack anyways. Her her attack, the first hit is too early for her only having two hits. And they're not even that strong, you know? But it's cool. Everything's cool. Cooler than the other side of the pillow. At least until we get further into the dungeon and we start fighting. Well, we're already fighting like a lava lump. Like... So we start seeing the actual lava. Because we are aware this place is full of lava. It's an active volcano, after all. There's definitely going to be some lava involved. Alright. What did I say I was going to do? I was going to put in a little girl. Little girl? Not personal, sorry. Party member. Little girl. Actually, no, I want to leave Geppetto in. I was going to say, I'll swap in... I'll just swap Team C, but no, I want Geppetto in for the for the less battles thing. So, I'm assuming this one also requires a thing. We don't have any more crystals. Do we have to go get one? What kind of dumb question is that? Of course you have to go get one. Alright, there's a safe one over here. And another freaking shrine. Okay, let's go left then. Oh, there's just a dead end with a... Blue crystal. We got a red one and a blue one. Man, we are... The colors of the rainbow, dude. Red and blue. Oh, wait. Two obvious colors. Is there... Is this... Uh, is this a dead end? It, it's just a dead end. Well then. Which crystal does this one belong to is the real question. I'm gonna try the one before the save point first. Alright, little girl. We got two enemies here for you. Let's do it. Alright, first off, fuck up this blooming phoenix. Because there's three of these bitches anyways. And we can scan them all. Booyah. Get out of here. Have her take out another one, cause it's no matter the faster you die, the quicker I win. I love how strong Karen is, man. She's so beast. It's cause of that extra freaking I don't know remember which earrings it is. Is the warlock earrings? The one that gives her 20 magic and 20 attack. Or doing you know, 20 special and physical attack power or whatever it is. Th those earrings are beast. I need to fucking didn't I get another pair of those? I got a bunch of prizes last episode. And I have not even like looked into them at all. I got some. I got like a spell or two, and then I just picked up a spell in this dungeon. I need to look at some of the shit I got last episode. The good thing is I did swap some stuff around just in the when I was in the progress of doing all those challenges last episode. So some stuff did get fixed and better and upgraded, but I didn't check everybody, and I also didn't make sure. Like, I'm using the best possible accessories to help me out in just, like, random battle situations like we're in right now. So maybe I'll look at it real quick. Should have did that before I even started the video. That's what I should have did. This is what happens yeah. when you just, you know, load up the game and go, let's go. I don't even want to think about it. And then you think about it and you go, damn, I had some stuff I probably should have done. Alright, you know what? Let's do that stuff I was just thinking of. Um, first off, Yuri, can, aren't you close to maxing out one of your fusions? I am not. Okay, never mind. I thought I was close to maxing one out. Well, then I won't worry about it right now. Okay, the other thing I was just saying was equipment. Okay, so... Let me look here. I got Loin Guard, which is his attack power increase. And this is the slowdown one. Okay, so hold on. Did, did I get another one of those things that, like... Max SP... Yeah, here you go. I got another pair of Warlock earrings. Yo. Hell yeah. Special attack power and damage. Oh, wait, she has demon ones. Oh. Warlock. That's not the one I want. Some demon ones. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm tripping. I thought they were the same as the one that she has. That's still awesome. I should put those on, put those on somebody. But I'm not going to give those to Yuri because that's not what I do most of the time with them. 
I mostly do physical damage, so what can I give him? Should I just give him the freaking loin guard again? I mean, extra attack power is always good. Yeah, I'll just put the loin guard back on him. See, he already has warlock earrings. That's the thing. So I can put warlock earrings on somebody else. Uh, Special attack damage? Probably little girl. Thing is... I don't really need this anymore, do I? Trophy money increase? Not really. I'm kind of at a point where money is not a big deal. So let's just put these on her. Yeah, because she's mostly going to be magic and special damage. I, I hardly ever use her physical attack in a battle. In a real battle. Like a, a boss battle, a real battle. So, should I put the crystals in here? Sure. We inserted the blue crystal. Let's see where it goes. Maybe this isn't even where I need to go. Let's find out. Going left. Dead end, but we got a yellow crystal out of it, so it was worth it. Hell yeah. Because it's like a cave, I always want to check all the nooks and crans anyways. Well, let's hope if and when I do run into another battle, which will probably be soon, that we fight the rest of those enemies so I can snapshot them and then I can take Anastasia back out because I'd like to stop using her for at least a little bit. I've used her a lot. Uh, should I put the yellow crystal in here? Sure. I wonder if it matters where you put the crystals. Huh. Whatever. Just keep exploring. I'm not going to fucking stop putting the J.O. crystals in their holes. Okay, I was... Uh... Always left first. Always left first. Always left first. You might find a whole lot of nothing at the end of the rainbow. Oh, wait. Or you'll find Hades fan. Yo! I think I already bought that. What was the name of the last one I found for her? Or had for her? Poseidon fan. Oh, shit. Never mind. Hades fan. Better. Take it back. Better. Hades is better than Poseidon, yo. I like that all her um, fans are like named after the Greek gods. That's pretty cute. I'm a fan of that. Of a fan. Cool. So I found the Hades fan. That was the prize for this way. So now I'm guessing if I go back, I can take the yellow crystal out and use it wherever the hell I want. I guess that's the idea here. Anyway, we got one new enemy, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's just beat the Shadow of the Blooming Phoenix first. I already got the, already got the samurai and I already got the... Uh, this Phoenix bitch, so we can kill them off, no problems. Cause they ain't want no problems, want no problems with me. No, they ain't want no problems, want no problems with me. Fucking skeleton, getting wrecked, good in all his friends. Anyway, learn something. You won't. She won't. All right. Uh, finish this guy off, please. You know what to do, Jepito. Dance on him. Alright, little girl. I have one more enemy we need to scan, right? The slug or whatever. The lava... What was it called? The lava lump? It looked like a lava slug, but it was called like a lava lump, I think. Oh, man. Sorry if I sound like I'm adjusting a lot, man. I, I recorded a lot yesterday. Like, I've only been recording one episode of this at a time, mostly. There's only been a couple times when I did more than one. Like, even yesterday, I recorded this for almost two hours, and I condensed it down into one episode just because it was all that one thing I was doing, and I didn't want it to be more than one episode. Fuck! God damn it. Um, but regardless of that, for the most part, I've been doing this this LP one episode at a time, regardless of how long the thing is. But yesterday, I recorded, like, almost four hours straight of Final Fantasy XII, and man... I, 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 I don't know how the hell I even did it. Like, I know I've streamed for longer, but it's different when I'm recording a video where I gotta talk. Otherwise, it's just silence and me walking around playing the game. I guess which isn't really the worst thing in the world, but it's still it's just weird when I've established this let's play thing and I gotta keep talking and it's four hours and I'm like I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life. Four hours in a row, man. It's not that I don't know what I'm doing in my life. I just don't know how my voice holds up. And today, I thought for sure I was going to be like, nope, probably not going to want to record at all today. And, you know, in my head, I don't want to. Or not that I don't want to, but in my head, I'm like, man, I'm kind of exhausted from recording yesterday. 
But then today, I'm like, eh, but I don't feel like I don't want to record. And my voice doesn't hurt. My throat's good. Like, nothing really hurts. I'm also going to take this blue crystal, by the way. If I don't need to go back that way, then take both crystals, man. You might need them. Something tells me that that's part of the puzzle. Having all the crystals you need in the right situations. Let's save it again. Since we have no idea how this place works. But anyway, my point is, I'm just glad my voice doesn't hurt today after recording for fucking a total of about six hours yesterday. Yes, almost four hours of 12 and almost two hours of this game because of that, how long all the arena stuff took. It's pretty ridiculous. I guess it doesn't matter which crystal I put where, right? I would, I would imagine the color of the crystal doesn't matter, right? I don't think so. I would think not. All right, what do we got? Uh, another dead end. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I find the ring soul? Yo, my ring soul, bro. There you are. I've been waiting for you for ages. There's something I really want to talk to you about. What is it? It's Miyabi. She's been going out a lot recently, all dressed up. I think she might be having an affair. Are you kidding me? We're going there with this? <laughs> I love it. No, you're just imagining it. Well, she's 17 years younger than me. She's only 28. She used to be a hostess. She's really cute. I mean, she's got such a great body. <laughs> she's 28 and she speaks like that? Look, I can't go on worrying like this. What should I do? I'm going crazy here. <laughs> Me too. Oh, Miyabi. Who's looking after Aya then? Oh, that's okay. Miyabi's mom and dad came from Chiba to stay with us. So they're looking after her. Then she's probably just getting, letting her hair down while she's got the chance. Maybe. I hope that's all it is. Yeah, don't worry. Just do your thing, man. Be serious. How can I do that when I'm so worried about Miyabi? <laughs> Forget it. It's not that important, man. Not important? Not important? Did you just say it's not important? S sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Ah! I thought you were a friend. You don't care about me at all. <laughs> I do, I do. Look, look, I'm sorry. Shouldn't you go look for her? There's got to be some place she likes to go. And if I see her, I'll let you know, okay? Don't think I will, though. <laughs> You're right. Okay, I'm off then. Here, take this. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. See you then. Why is... <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Maybe I'd better start think rethinking my friendship with this guy. <laughs> Dude, it's hilarious that when I first, when we start, first started fucking with him, where I thought it was just going to be some kind of joke thing, where we just, you know, have silly conversations with him and we move on, it's funny that that has developed into a true side character with a fucking backstory and a friendship with Yuri, and it's fucking hilarious. I, can I just throw that out there that I fucking love the Ring Soul? Anybody else out there, man? The Ring Soul is the shit. He might be my favorite character in the game. It's so ridiculous. I love it, dude. I fucking love it. Alright, before I do anything with this altar, let me see what else is here. See if there's any other reason. Doesn't look like it. Is there at least a thing in the corner here? No. Dead end. Alright, see? This is why we needed both J.O. crystals. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to get up in here. Come on, final enemy. Where you at, slug? Yo, there he is. Alright, let's do it. All right, let's uh let's beat up the samurai ghoul real quick. The ghoul of the samurai, samurai get fucked up, samurai guy, samurai guy. The ghoul of the samurai, samurai get fucked up, samurai guy, samurai guy. <sighs> oh god, okay. <laughs> I just can't get over how good the ring soul is as a character. Like, who would have ever thought? Like, not many games can take something so ridiculous. Like, the the random ass fucking, I don't even know what to call it, a being? The random ass dude, thing, creature, whatever, ring soul you find, that basically just gives you the attack boost upgrade throughout the whole game. That's all he's really for. That's all he's, that's all his function actually is. He's there to give you the attack boosters, and he's, and he's in little secret areas because it's actually a pretty fucking sweet boost to find, so it's like a worth, worthwhile reward. But, on top of that, he's a fucking silly ass character who evolves from being just, you know, regular ass, what you think is just like some, you know, I don't know, generic 
mystic babble saying fucking ring thingy that is like not even real in the sense of a word to actually being like a bro who's actually some dude who's just like he's like Wizard of Oz style right he's like like the actual Wizard of Oz not from the mo like specifically the movie I mean like I'm talking about the wizard in Wizard of Oz the fact that he's like the guy behind the curtain type of thing that's what that's what this ring soul reminds me of and that's why it's hilarious it's like do not look behind the curtain you will not see who the true ring soul is and then he's he's telling us all about his life though. He's got his fucking wife and child. His wife's parents are in town. He was talking about doing he was doing his fucking voices of his wife and child, which is insane. Ah oh, god. I, I can't get over how fucking ridiculous the ring soul is and how, why I don't know. I just love it. I love ridiculous things. I think it's my that might be my thing. Anyway, we're finally inside the lava part of the dungeon or whatever of the mountain, the mountain dungeon. Um I'm going to go always left cuz it's kind of my thing. Always left. Always left. Oh shit. Always left. Always left. Man, there's so many little nooks and crans here. I want to check them all. There's bound to be something, right? Maybe? Probably? Hopefully? Maybe? Okay, good. Seal of life. Speaking of seals, holy crap, I need to use a bunch of those. Well, maybe I'll do one in this next battle now that I'm thinking about it again. Who am I going to use them on? I don't fucking know. I have a ton of them, though. I have a ton of them. Holy crap, I just thought about it. I have a ton of those. Alright, well, I went always left and I got my items, so I'm happy. Let's keep with the left uh, thing. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, this maybe seems like where we need to go. That looks like the bridge across the lava that maybe Kato and his, his homies went across, which we will deal with, but let's check the. Yeah, smart move. Check the side path first. Oh, this looks like it has two side paths, too. The hell, man? So many side paths. So many branching paths. Come on. Something in the crannies. Nothing in those granny panty crannies. All right. Let's use a seal in this battle. Also, I should have took the little girl out. I got all my snapshots. I'm good. Um, that's fine. All right. Actually, start the battle off. We're going to just punch some fools out so there's less people to hurt me. No people to hurt me. I want there to be less people to hurt me. Another thing I want to do with this LP, though, now that I'm thinking about it, is I want to try to keep to the under the hour mark. That that My original intention with this LP, or any LP really, is to do, especially with RPGs, try to get to like that 50 minute-ish mark and like, you know, have a good place to stop. But the problem is lately with this game, I haven't had a good place to stop. So I've just been going overtime all the damn time. Um, I'm going to use this on Karen, I think. Let's see what we can do. Oh, God. Oh, and I got a perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Um, but anyway. Yeah. So this 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 LP has been hard. And obviously with, with blind RPGs, or blind any game, really, I, I mean, it's understandable. I go overtime sometimes. But I feel like with this game, I've been going overtime way too much. And that's because I keep trying to, like, take a chance, so to speak, by trying to go to a new area. And then I go, oh, shit, now I don't have anywhere to stop. And then I keep going. And then I end up making it all into one long episode instead of splitting it up into two. It's just because most of the time I don't have enough time to do two. But lately I have, so. Or I just make one long episode just because what the hell, why not? MP boost, huh? Who needs it? Yuri? Let's do it. Yuri, you need MP? Let's, let's throw it out, bro. Oh, I fucked it up. Wait, does that mean it just doesn't work? If you fuck up an MP, it just doesn't work? It just doesn't work. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's do it again. Yuri, you got this. Alright, I'll take that. It's fine. More MP is more MP, man. I can't hate on it. I'll just keep using that shit. I don't care. Do it again. I'm just trying to use up these damn MPs, man. Use it on Yuri. I just, I just trying to use up all these seals. I got all these goddamn seals. If I want to use them that bad, I could just go in the menu and use them, but I might as well use them efficiently. I should just do all this shit off screen. I don't know why I'm doing it right now. Holy crap. I didn't realize he was going to do that much damage. Holy moly. Well, that's no bueno. He says as he ignores the fact that the girl just died and he's going to use another seal. Um, I actually want to use this on... Actually, we can use one of these on her. It only gives her one to two points anyways. 
and Anastasia has one of the lower SP maximums. I was thinking about giving it to Karen, and I probably will give the other one to her, but Karen is dead right now, so if she comes back, tell her to answer her phone. She got a seal on line one. Wake up, BZ. We got seals for you. We got seals for you. You know. Alright. Let's give her the other SP seal. Indeed. To my girl, Karin. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Hey, man. More SP is always good. Oh, shit. She gets another turn. Hell, yeah. Let's use another one of those. Fuck it. Um, agility? Hmm. Intelligence, luck, luck on Yuri. Let's go. I'm cool with luck. I'm cool with some luck. That usually means higher chance of critical hits. That's usually what that means. Oh, cool. He's wasting his time boosting his attack power. That's cool. Dude, she's getting another turn. Well, shit. If she's gonna keep getting turned, I'm gonna keep using seals. I'm using another one of these on Yuri. More chance he has to get crit hits, uh, the more fucking beast mode he'll always be. Alright. Time to kill this ghouly ghouly ghouly. Let's see. Boop, boop. Oh, I missed. Well, Karen's gonna have to do the honors. It's good though. It's good. It's fine. Oh, okay. Unless I do that. Now she's dead. Or you dead. Damn it, Yuri. You suck. I needed to heal everybody, and if Jeff Patel would have got another turn, I would have. He's still behind in level, though, so whatever. Hey, look whose turn it is. <laughs> look who's going to take another chance to use another seal. I'm going to use this last one of luck on Yuri, since I already know what to do with it. The other ones I'm still thinking about. Intelligence. I guess I could just give it to Geppetto. Well, we'll have a chance. Let's just give this to Geppetto. Geppetto. Jack-tow. Here he can finish off this motherfucker, hopefully. No more misses, please. Thank you. Wow, that battle... Uh, I, dro I drove that battle out a pretty while, long while. Alright, so... I don't know if I... Eh, whatever. We'll use MP to heal. Okay. Jepito. Cure. Arc. We're good, we're good, we're good. And then we're going to swap the little girl back out because I'm done with you for now. <coughs> Lucy is back. And one other thing I want to check real quick. I got a new crest. Right. Um, damn, I don't have... Ah, some of these crests, I need to fucking figure out a way to equip them. Hail Crash, Bright Banish. That's pretty good. Shacks, Air and Dark Resist. Cure and Resurrection. Ooh. Cure plus an Arc Heal. I already have that. Evil Summoning. Didn't I pick up a new one? Nebarius, Veilfor, Zagan. Man, there's so many freaking moves, man. I don't know what to do with them all. Alice's Arc Surge. Man. Oh, right. She has the MP. Like, everything's less MP with her. Because I have, I have that shit. There's too many to choose from, man. Alright, here's what we're going to do. She already has this, which has Bright and Bright. This has Rock Storm. This has Arc Rage. This has... Um, I'm gonna... Drop this one. And... This one. And then I'm going to... Oh, man. It's still not enough, though. Rock Storm... She already has a bright move. Let's get rid of these. She has the higher level one. I'd rather have the higher level stuff. I was going to give her Amon. And then she still has seven. Well, fuck it. Is there something that has seven? Arc Heal. That's not a terrible one, but status effects are not a big deal. Arc Surge. Actually, let's have that. That way she can actually do... Everybody has, um, you know, a boost in attack. <sighs> Phoenix, Cure Plus, Arc Shield, Red Rave... This is the same thing, pretty much. Vine. What's Marbus? Evil Summoning and Gale Spike. I would like to have something like that. I guess I could swap these two. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. That sounds good. 
Oh shit, and Jepito, he's got all sorts of space, holy crap. Um, well, I suppose we could just give him something. He's got space, man, he's got space! Ooh, he's got Resurrection and Cure. Alright, hold on. If I give him Resurrection and Cure, he doesn't need this anymore. So I can swap this out for something else that holds seven. Arkeel. What else? Anything, 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 anything? Bathin? No. 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 Man. I don't even know. I don't know, man. Whatever, just leave it. I don't care. We'll figure it out later. I don't want to sit here and try to figure out magic for fucking ten minutes. It's good enough. Kind of just rolling with the way I've chosen to do things. I still feel like I'm missing stuff in nooks and crannies here. There's just so many little nooks to like keep mashing X inside of it. I'm like, I don't know if I'm missing anything. I can't tell. There's no indicators, man. But I do know there's a treasure right here. I'm going to grab it. Kogara Maru. Kogara Maru. That is... It looked like a sword for him, right? Yeah. Sounds like a sword for him. Regardless of how it looks. There's a random battle in them bar hills. Let's go. Alright. We got ooh, lots of phoenixes this time. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I thought there was something new for a second. Just another lava lump. Nice big lump of lava. Getting fucked up. That's right, bitch. Okay, so for her, I just swap some shit around. Um, I'm gonna do Gale Spike because these guys are probably fire based, seeing as how there are phoenixes and they're inside a volcano. So that's why I'm not gonna use Hoovervilk instead, which is what I could have done, as usual. Chia. Alright. Now, let's see. What do you got? Bright Vanish. Oh, I didn't switch anything on her, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. What am I talking about? I have. I have Red Crest now, that's new. Um, but I don't want to do Red Crest on these guys. They are fucking. They are fucking fire! Hello! They'll probably die anyways, because they're already all hurt, but I want them all to die. So now they are all dead. I like. I do like. Okay, and as for you, I guess I'll just have you hit the shit out of this lava lump because. I don't know. I don't feel like wasting magic on that turn. Also, I just realized it's called a lava lump. Very similar in name to a lava lamp. I don't know if there's a correlation there. Maybe that's the joke. I don't know. Sometimes with with enemy names in these kind of RPGs, the enemy names are like punny in a way. And lava lump is definitely on the verge of being punny. Is this the bridge that Kato and his friends crossed or not? It looks like it could be. There's no indicator to say that it is or isn't. It just looks like it could be, because it's a bridge over lava. Could be, could not be. To be or not to be. Doesn't really matter now, does it? All that matters is, we're over here now. And wherever over here is, is one step closer to Kato and his apes. And possibly even Nikolai. Alright, um, let's just beat the fuck out of this thing first. Oh, almost a perfect. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good. It's good beatdown. Oh my god, it's like a sliver of health. God damn it! Yuri can almost kill that thing in one flurry. Yuri with one flurry. Whatever. We'll just have her finish it off. Oh man, pick up. This thing's gonna die from my boy Jepito. Key up! Nice. Alright, now we just got one Samurai Jack to finish off. Who likes to just swap my fucking old man around with a sword, and that's not very nice of you, Samurai Ghoul. Get out of here! He got petrified. Get some. Petrify. Petrify that ghoul. Petrify. Yeah, that's right. Man, Jepito and Lucia really are behind in level. But so are Blanca and Joe Kim. Karando and Anastasia just were in the party for extra time for a while there, so they kind of got ahead of the other guys. Can you tell that Karen and Yuri are kind of in my group for the rest of the game? They're just two beasts. I don't want to take them out, man. 
As long as I have them, I feel like nothing can stop me. And then the other two party members are just supporting them. Nothing can stop me. Nobody can stop me. Never can stop me. Are we here? Hell yeah, we're here. Wherever here is. Kato and the others were here. Oh, is this where the bridge is? I wonder where they all went. Uh-oh. Wow! Follow the earthquakes. Oh, there you go. There's the bridge. Looks like they went this way. No shit. There's your bridge. Okay, so we found the bridge. Never mind on the other one being the bridge. This one definitely looks more like the bridge they crossed. It was all surrounded in lava and shit. Also, can I get to this fucking treasure chest? Jesus. Stuck on the fucking ledges of rocks and shit. I guess if I just use the fucking map, I can tell where I can walk. What about on this side? Anything? 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 Anything in this nook? No? Okay. Alright, well, across the lava we go. We... Any, anything on the, along the bridge here? I'm guessing no. How about over here? Anything? Anything? Any, anything at all? How about over here? Anything? No? Okay. Cool. Well, I'm not at an episode yet, so we got to keep going. Watch, this is going to be one of those moments where I end up going further than an episode's worth. But maybe today I'll actually do back-to-back -back episodes of this. We'll see. It all kind of I'll just kind of play it by ear at this point, but we're definitely not in an episode right now. So we got to keep going. Immortal Mountain 30% point. That's what the last one said. Immortal Mountain 30% point. Where are we now? Are we at the end now? The heck? I didn't know it said 30% point last time. Well, cutscene time, whatever's happening. Let's go. He's encased himself in crystal. Oh, there's Kato, just chilling. Uh, Kato! Oh, damn. Yuri, so you have Got his ass handed to him. Or his face. <laughs> How you doing? You okay? You tell me. How do I look? Okay, you just got beat up a little bit. <laughs> You're a tough cookie, all right. <laughs> You're too late. Nikolai. That's no longer the Nikolai that you knew. <laughs> So, did you miss us? Very soon. Destruction of this world will begin. Destruction? Yes, that's right. Destruction. The malice released in the world will soon destroy it. What are you going to do? Waste them. Be careful. His claws are poisoned with malice. There's no antidote for that. One scratch, and that's it. <laughs> I got it. Interesting. It cannot be avoided. My soul has been revived. The age of mankind is coming to an end. Joy, sadness, desire, all of it is finished now. I will usher in a glorious new future. Before you do, can I ask a favor? What do you wish? You. I wish you'd shove it. You know where. I do not get your joke, mortal. That was a joke, right? <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be fun! Alright, so is this the final form of Astaroth, or what? guess so. Alright. Bring it on, Asti. Oh, it's Neo Asti, because we did already fight regular Asti. 
All right, well, um, he's going to get a turn, so what am I doing? I guess we're going to throw Neo Aemon at him. Neo Aemon at him. Let's do it. Just for the sake of throwing one Neo at another Neo, let's aim it up, yo. Let's aim it up. All right, and I'm going to nail him with... What do I want to nail him with? I kind of just want to hit him with Die Scumbag. Well, I'll do that when I have a combo set up. Right now, I don't have a combo. I'm just gonna, well, actually, yes, I do. What am I saying? I do have a combo set up. Yo, all right. Never mind. Take it back. Use the move. Do it. Die, scumbag. Let's go. Die, scumbag. Ooh, almost a perfect. Almost a perfect. Die, scumbag. Remember, one touch with his claws and you're done zomatic. So we got to be careful. I really don't even know what that means yet, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Anyway. Gosh Benst it. Gosh Benst it. Oh shit, hers is slow. I gotta be careful. It's like the first time I've done a combo with her having to be slow. I really only started making her have a slow attack as of last episode, so I gotta be careful. It's a pretty good start, right? Seven Hundo? Can't hate on that. Um Well, does she have anything that hits a lot? Bright Banish hits nine times. He's probably non elemental, that'd be my guess. Um, huh. yeah, I guess just to keep the combo alive, we could just hit him with the Bright Banish. Why not? All right, that'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hit him for over a, a K of damage is good stuff. That's 12 Hundo. I'll take it. Suck on that, Astaroth. What you know about without first, first fucking turn 12 Hundo damage? You don't know. You don't know. You didn't know it was going to be like that. You didn't know it was going to be that harsh, son. Alright. Didn't I give him another arc move? What? I didn't give him an arc move? Okay, I gave the other dude an arc move, I guess. Well, okay. Let's just arc cure then, so... Bitches can be healed. Jepito just doesn't have a lot of HP, so this is probably going to be a little bit scurry. Okay, he's going to get another turn here, huh? Okay. Well, let's just smack him around a little bit. With some regular hits. Some regular shitty hits. I'll take the 287. That's good stuff. What's he at? Alright. Um, do you have Arc Rage? Arc Rage must be on Lucia then. I must be thinking that I put it on her. Um, that's fine. Let's just hit this fool with. I don't know. Maybe we'll just smack him normal. As long as we're doing damage, I'm happy, you know? As long as we're doing some damage. I'm easy. Yeah, Lucy and Geppetto are slow. I should have used other party members just for speed's sake. It's okay. He only raised his special defense, so no worries there. Let's start comboing up, actually. Wait. Why is Karen not going to get another turn? before. Really? God damn it. Fine, whatever. Um, okay, in that case... Oh shit, I don't have Arc Rage, I have Arc Surge. Surge is for special attacks, Rage is what I want. Well, fuck me. Alright, well, gonna do this on him then. For some reason I thought I put Arc Rage on Lucia, but I actually put Arc Surge, didn't I? Did. Oh, she has Arc Rage also. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Whatever. Fuck it. It's not a wasted turn if he didn't do any damage, really, so it's okay. Kind of lame, but whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. It just means Neo Astaroth's about to get fucked twice as hard. Well, maybe not twice as hard, but a little bit harder. Yeah, see. Good stuff. Okay. Nice 4 Hundo. I'll take that. Meteor Burst! Strong fire move or is it non elemental? I don't know. Holy crap! Geppetto got killed in one hit. Holy moly. Alright, well, that sucks. Wake up, Geppetto. We can't handle you being dead. I need, I need all hands on deck for this boss fight, sir. Alright, yeah. Alright, I'll just have him spend his turn healing himself then. I don't really care that his, his arc rage got disappeared. His attack power is pointless in this battle. It's about his survival in this one. Alright. Keep fucking him up. 
Yuri's usual primary directive. Fuck him up. While the rest of the team keeps him alive. I hate that he missed. Alright, what can we do with aromatherapy? Also, Yuri's going to get another turn. Why is Yuri so fast? I love it. Um, what can I do with some oil here? Oh, let's do the crit rate. 100%. Yeah, let's do that. Yuri's about to get get a good use out of this, so hell yeah. Let's do it. Boost that crit rate, girl. Boost it. Boost it. You know what to do. Alright, now, Astaroth. Feel my wrath. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Delay. I need that shit too. Good lord. Delay more like about the killer. Shit, almost killed her in one fucking flurry there. One fucking McFlurry there. Alright. I can heal her with Geppetto. So I guess we can take this turn to actually hit this guy. With him. I mean with 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 Karen. We already got him half dead, dude. This is awesome. Kinda whooping that ass. He is pretty strong. Oh shit, I still have 100% crit rate. Hell yeah, dude, that was worth it. Uh, I forgot about the crit rate thing that I still had on. Nice. Very nice. Alright, let me see it. Heal it up, girl. Heal it up. Ta-da! Alright. Dude, I still have the crit rate thing? Are you kidding me? Do I really? I mean, it still has the aroma. Fuck yeah, dude. Look at all this damage I'm doing. Amazing. Wore off, but you know what? I'm about to do it again. I'm about to do that shit again? That shit is beast. Shit kicks hella ass. I don't mind kicking Mo ass. That 100% crit rate fucking oil combo is the tits, man. It only lasts a turn, but that's a good turn. That's a good ass turn. Damn it. Don't delay on Yuri. Man. Bright Crest effect is gone. Wait, what was Bright Crest? What? Yuri had a Bright Crest effect on? I didn't even know. Anyway, Astron's already fucking done, dude. He's down to like the last quarter of health already. This, this God, this extra damage by Yuri is insane. Yuri is too beast. Neo Amon is unfair. Oh my god, and Karen! Look at Karen! She's just as beast. Man. My, my squad, dude. I'm proud of my squad right now. The squad is too good. Too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off. It's alright. Oh, wait, only person that needed healing was Amon? I didn't realize it was only him. Shit, my bad. I should have just healed him. Whatever, dude. He gets another turn with full crits. I'm feeling this. Gotta admit right now. I'm feeling this. Hell yeah, dude. I already won. Astaroth just got his fucking ass handed to him, dude. Suck on that, Nikolai. Go back to hell where you belong, bitch. Get fucking wrecked. It's good over already. I got delay three. I got the Astaroth bell. I got a dark angel. I got a shit ton of everything. That was awesome, dude. Beast as fuck. Yo. I'm pretty proud of how that went. Everybody went up a level except for Karando. Perfectly acceptable. Perfectly, perfectly perfect. That was awesome, dude. That was some ass whipping, that's what that was. Hell yeah. Karen. Nikolai. Nikolai. The heck? Don't think you can escape the curse of the mistletoe. Thanks to you. All my plans have been ruined. I thought you forgot that. No. And now, you'll die for it. Whoa. The hell, Kato? Where'd you come from? You'll die instead. Oh, she took the hit. Oh, shit. 
you son of a... Karen! Oh, fuck. One hand? He just crushed his fucking... F what? Are you hurt? Who cleaned up his face? But I'm fine. I'm so glad. Oh God. one way to kill her off. Now, what the hell's up with this mistletoe thing with Yuri? We gotta... Can't forget about that. That just happened, too. Thought we got over the mistletoe thing, but apparently not. It's never over with this mistletoe bullshit, man. First thing that happened in the game, too. It's crazy. That's what I say when I'm mad. I just yell, "Bite me!" really loud. Expresses my anger perfectly. Also, what the hell? Now we're back here, or somebody is. Who's here? Are we here? Who's here? Oh, we're here. Okay. Bite me. He's okay. <laughs> Bite me. What's that? He said it. Hmm. Yuri. Fountain of Sukune. <laughs> hey, stay still. Don't try to get up. They're right. You've been out for three days. You've got to take it easy. Three days. What about Kato? Is he dead? No. But we were the only ones who got out of there. I see. He said that if you lived, you should come to the Foreigner's Cemetery. Foreigner's Cemetery? In Yokohama? Mm. I got it. Okay, I guess we have a heading. That's good. Don't leave me hanging like, what am I supposed to do now? So, uh, 
hold on. Let me just wait till there's no more cutscene or anything, and then I'll start speculating for a minute. Hold up. Yuri, you're awake. Good. All our prayers were heard. Looks like I caused you all a lot of worry, but I'm fine now. Don't brush it off like that. Understand how poor Karen's been feeling, nursing you night and day without sleep. Huh? You really did that? Yeah, well, you know. Yuri. Yes? And everybody else, too. Listen to me. With Astaroth's death, the threat of a natural disaster is gone. But an even greater crisis, a profound sorrow, threatens to darken the sky. A feeling of empty destruction. Is it him? Him who? I hear the screams of a heart stifled by sorrow and anger. Anguish that no one can heal. I know that feeling. Are you going to put an end to it? For a friend, yes, and he's a good friend of mine. What? Very well, go then. Go to your destiny. What are we talking about? Okay, cool. Anything else? Auntie, no, just be careful. That's all she's got for us. All right, well, if I can make it to the save point without any other interruptions, I'm going to call this an episode, guys. Let's see if we can make it to the save point without an interruption. I mean, we already have a heading, so I imagine there's not going to be a random cutscene unless somebody's going to stop and talk to us or something. <laughs> nope, looks like we are probably okay to go. All right, next time on Let's Play Shadow Hearts Covenant, we'll go to the, the cemetery. But, man... Uh, well, I was right about there being another section of the game after we defeat Astaroth, first of all. So that was that. I was spot on with that, clearly. Also, oh, there's a ladybug right there. Right. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something before all that happened. Oh, I'm just wondering, like, like I, I don't know what I'm wondering. I, I guess I have too many questions in my head to spew them all out now without extending this episode by many minutes. So instead, we'll just talk about it next time if I have anything else to say. And, uh... I'll see you guys then. Peace!